Hi. In this video, we are going to discuss some solved math problems about circle theorems. What is the measure of arc FR? Paano sa solve yung problem na to? Remember the theorem. The measure of an inscribed angle in a circle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, pag tinignan niyo yung problem na to, meron tayong inscribed angle. At ang inscribed angle natin, pag dinoble mo yun, it's going to be the measure of your intercepted arc. So, kung yung 34, i-times 2 nyo lang, you will get 68 degrees. Number 2. What is the measure of angle RGF? Angle RGF is a central angle. Ano bang theorem yung tungkol sa um, central angle? At may measure dito ng kanyang intercepted arc. So, ang measure ay 78 degrees. Answer. The degree measure of a minor arc is the degree measure of the central angle which intercepts the arc. So, kung meron tayong intercepted arc at meron tayong central angle, ang measure nila ay the same lang, 78 degrees. Huwag nyo nang pansinin yung ibang angle dito kagaya ng angle FOR kasi hindi naman yan yung tinatanong. What is the measure of arc ITV? Now, arc ITV refers to this major arc. Okay, so, yun yung malaking arc. Now, what theorem will help us answer the measure of arc ITB? Answer, the degree measure of a major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. Now, remember, ang meron lang tayo dito ay ang ating inscribed angle na 25 degrees. So, ang sukat nito 25 degrees. Eh, hindi naman natin alam yung sukat ng minor arc na ITB. Gamitin natin yung isa pang theorem na yung inscribed angle is twice the measure of its intercepted arc. So, dodoblehin natin itong 25 degrees. Ito magiging 50 degrees na siya. At doon natin pwedeng apply yung 360 degrees minus 50 degrees na minor arc. Makukuha natin yung 310 degrees. Question number 4. What is the measure of angle ITB? So, ang angle ITB natin ay ito. ITB. So, meron tayong inscribed angle kasi yung angle niya ay nandun sa circumference ng circle at meron ding intercepted arc. So, anong theorem yung merong tungkol sa inscribed angle at sa kanyang intercepted arc? Ito. The measure of an inscribed angle in a circle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, yung sukat daw ng inscribed angle, which is ito, ang inscribed angle natin, ito ay kalahati lang ng inscribed, in, uh, sorry, intercepted arc niya. So, pag ang intercepted arc niya ay 70 degrees, hatiin mo lang yan, makukuha mo na yung measure ng iyong inscribed angle na 35 degrees. Problem number 5. What is the measure of arc FIT? So, arc FIT is ito yun. Malaking arc. This is your major arc. Major arc siya kasi mas malaki siya sa semicircle. Or it's greater than 180 degrees ng kalahati ng circle. And well, how do we find the measure of arc FIT? Eh, meron na tayong given dito na measure ng minor arc natin na 105 degrees. Anong theorem? The degree measure of a major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. 
So, pag sinubtract natin yung 360 minus 105 degrees, makukuha natin yung 255 degrees. And that's the measure of arc FIT. Okay, problem number 6. What is the measure of arc IT? Ito yung arc IT natin. Okay, ang measure ng arc PO ay 95 degrees at ang arc OI, ito naman, ay 175 degrees. Ngayon, paano natin makukuha yan? Anong related theorem? Okay, the degree measure of a major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same end point. So, ang sagot dito ay 90 degrees. Pero, paano nakuha yon? So, since dito, ang nawawala ay minor arc, pwede natin gawin um, 360 degrees minus the major arc para mahanap yung minor arc. E, paano natin mahanap yung sukat ng major arc? Di ba, meron tayong 95 degrees na TO pa at papuntang 175. So, i-add nyo lang yung dalawang yan. Tapos, isusubtract nyo sa 360 degrees. Then, you'll get the answer, 90 degrees. Yun yung measure ng ating arc IT. So, this one is 90 degrees. At bukod dun, remember na yung isang buong circle, ang sukat niyan ay 360 degrees. So, pwede ng 360 degrees minus 175 degrees minus 95 degrees, makukuha nyo na yung 90 degrees as the answer. Okay, number 7, what is the measure of arc ST? So, arc ST is ito. This is an intercepted arc. Intercepted arc nino. Itong angle na to. Okay? So, anong theorem yung tungkol sa intercepted arc at yung kanyang inscribed angle? The theorem is ito. The measure of an inscribed angle in one circle or in a circle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, kalahati daw ng intercepted arc natin, kalahati ng intercepted arc natin ay ang iyong inscribed angle. Okay? At ang inscribed angle ay, pag dinobli mo ang inscribed angle, makukuha mo yung sukat ng inyong intercepted arc. So, pag dinobli natin yung 65 degrees or 65 degrees times 2, makukuha natin yung sagot na 130 degrees. Number 8. What is the measure of angle SPT? So, ito yung ating angle, SPT. Ang angle niya ay nasa circumference. So, anong tawag sa kanya? Inscribed angle na naman yan. So, anong may uh, theorem ang tungkol sa inscribed angle at sa kanyang intercepted arc. Theorem is, the measure of an inscribed angle in a circle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, si inscribed angle daw, itong angle na to, ay kalahati ng kanyang intercepted arc. So, hatiin mo si 135 degrees, makukuha mo si inscribed angle. Kaya ang sagot ay 67.5 degrees. Number 9. What's the measure of arc PK? So, ito medyo madali-dali lang siya. So, tingnan nyo yung arc PKA. ba ito ay isang, ay isang example ng semicircle. So, ito ay kalahati ng circle natin. So, ang kalahati ng circle natin measures 180 degrees. Eh, binigay na yung 40 degrees dito. Ilan na lang yung ilan yung arc PK? So, 180 degrees, i-minus mo sa 40 degrees. So, this will give you 140 degrees. So, ito yung measure ng ating arc PK. Number 10. 
What's the measure of angle BUS? So, angle BUS ay ito. Angle BUS. Ito yung central angle. Ngayon, ano yung sukat ng angle BUS? Eh, ang meron lang tayo na available natin ay itong arc RH. Okay. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung theorem about central angle. Okay. So, sasabi ng central angle, kung ano yung sukat ng kanyang central angle at intercepted arc ay pareho. 110 degrees. Ngayon, si, itong angle na to, ang angle natin na RUH, ang sukat nito ay 110 degrees din. Kasi nga sabi ng theorem, na yung central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. Okay? Ngayon, kung 110 degrees ito, anong sukat ng angle na to? 110 degrees din. Bakit? Vertical angle theorem. Okay? So, yung mag-opposite angles dito ay congruent. Number 11. What is the measure of line BC? At pag tinignan nyo yung circle R natin, marami siyang radius at meron din tayong diameter. Given ang radius na 35 centimeters, okay, at ang sabi natin, meron tayong theorem about diameter and a radius. The diameter of a circle is twice its radius. So, yung haba ng diameter, diameter natin is katumbas ng dalawang radius. So, kung 35 to, at 35 din yan, ang sukat ng line BC natin is 70 centimeters. Number 12. What is the measure of line AD? So, line AR ang given natin is 20 inches. Ito ay radius. Ang line AK is also a radius. Ang line AD is also a radius. So, anong sukat ng line AD? At anong theorem yung pwede magamit? Radii of the same circle are congruent. So, ibig sabihin kung anong sukat ng radius AR, yun din ang sukat ng radius na AD. So, 20 inches din yung length ng diameter. Number 13. What is the measure of arc SI? So, pag tinignan mo yung figure, meron tayong central angle. Ito yung central angle. At meron tayong intercepted arc. So, ito yung hindi natin alam. Now, remember, ang sabi ng theorem, the degree measure of a minor arc is the degree measure of the central angle which intercepts the arc. So, sa madaling salita, ang sukat ng central angle mo is equal to the measure of in its intercepted arc. So, ito ay 75 degrees din. Number 14. What's the measure of angle VNO? Ang angle VNO ay ito. VNO. Ito ay isang central angle. So, ano ang theorem na pwedeng i-apply yung central angle at ang kanyang intercepted arc na 80 degrees? Parang naulit na rin to kanina. The degree measure of a minor arc is the degree measure of the central angle which intercepts the arc. So, yung minor arc or intercepted arc natin at yung central angle ay pareho daw ng measurement. So, if this is 80 degrees, yung central angle mo is also 80 degrees. Last number, number 15. What's the measure of angle TAO? So, angle TAO ay ito. Yung ating inscribed angle. Okay, meron tayong inscribed angle at meron din tayong central angle. So, anong theorem yung may information about inscribed? 
at Central Angel. Sagot? The angels at the center of the circle is twice the angel at the circumference. So, yung central angle daw natin is equal to twice the measure of the inscribed angle. So, itong 84 degrees, yung central angle is palagi siyang mas malaki kaysa sa inscribed angle. So, what you need to do is to just divide. So, pag hinati mo yung 84 degrees na central angle, divide mo to by 2, makukuha mo yung sukat ng inscribed angle. So, 84 divide by 2, 42 degrees. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede namang ulitin ng panoorin ng video. Pwede nyo ring i-download kung meron kayong Gmail account or YouTube account para pwede mapanood habang offline. If you find this video helpful, huwag ipagdamot yung likes at mag-subscribe na rin para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons natin. Thank you!